Okay, there we go. We are recording now. Just let this truck pass by. Anyways. Um, yeah, we got the bike back up and running. You might be wondering, what's the problem with it? The rear wheel, leaking air. That's not anymore. Um, so that's fixed. Only took, you know, six months. Um, I got this cool thing in the back, so now I can actually carry luggage and crap. Makes this bike a little more useful. It was scary drilling into the plastics, because that's how you have to install that, but it works. And it looks cool. So that also works. Headlight, don't know if I showed that yet. It's pretty much everything. I barely have ridden this bike, so. You know how it goes. He's just being a cool guy, checking in on me. But it's been a minute, a minute since I've been able to like actually take this thing out and have fun. I've been just riding my Yamaha around like crazy and wishing I was on this. But hey, you don't have to wish anymore. <laughs> That's why we love this thing. I got my speedometer, all right? Thank you. in the road. What you doing there, buddy? Hello. Oh, you're going to get me? Yeah, he is. Gosh. You know, this bike doesn't have too much down low. So it, it's a little it's a little surprising when all of a sudden it just does because it loves its top end and so that's where it gives you its power and we're on a dirt bike right right Look at that, all gone. They used to be my little like dirt bike place, right? Although I don't have a dirt bike anymore. But I used to take my dual sports into there, all gone. And this thing's sketchy as hell in there because it's all just mud. Ah, you could still ride back there. Woo, ha, <laughs> that was scary. Thing's pretty good at uh, clutchless wheelies. You just kind of like rip it, let it go, rip it again, and then it'll it'll pop right up for you. Second gear, or first, but then you do a backflip. That's first gear. Just to like okay, I'll stand up now. Baby stoppy. I got new wheels. Um, they're not quite as sticky as the original wheels I got. Like they come with the bike, just because I wanted these to last a little longer. 
so it means I can't stop you as easily because the front wheel just kind of skids. Not cool. Big dog. Oh, you gonna chase me? Yeah, let's chain up our dogs, guys. That's a big ass crane. Freaks of weed. These are scary. <laughs> like I'm gonna fly over the edge or something. And they look cool, guys. Hell yeah, it does. This thing is so light. I think I can get it farther out in the dock. <laughs> Imagine should I drop it off? What would I do? Cry? Probably. I think that's the only option at that point, right? Look at it, it's wobbling so much. It's gonna fall over. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Well, maybe, yeah. Have y'all ridden your bike on water? I didn't think so. favorite road in all of existence. No deer, please. No deer. Ah! <laughs> you see those two wheelies? Oh my god. Whew. Those trees in the way. They put trees in the way! Okay, it's motorcycle out. It used to not be that out. Dang you!
quick shifter is amazing on this thing. When I don't find a false neutral, that is. But, I mean, the, it's going down, it's just so sick. Don't even have to think about the clutch, just smack that thing, you know? That was hot. Yeah. regularly scheduled program.
exhilarating. That was a false neutral. It's almost hard to wheelie after going through like going through a twisty road because you when you're going through that kind of thing, your mind's set on like don't slip the tires, you know, keep straight, blah, blah, blah. And then you get into a normal road and you're like, okay, I could do a wheelie now, but your brain is still thinking, nope, all four tires, all two tires have to stay on the road. 